This video will show you what happens in a woman's body during the menstrual cycle. This is the outside of the uterus, womb or baby bag where a baby develops. These are the ovaries where the eggs are stored and released from each month. These are the tubes that lead from the ovaries to the uterus. This is the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus. And this is the vagina. The hormones or chemical messengers that control the menstrual cycle are released from the brain and the ovaries. If a woman is not pregnant, the period begins. This is day one of the menstrual cycle. Blood flows out of the cervix of the uterus and then out of the body through the vagina, usually for the next three to seven days. At the same time, the brain releases a hormone or chemical messenger which travels through the bloodstream and helps the growth of little sacs of fluid or follicles on the ovary. Each follicle contains an immature egg. By day 14, bleeding has usually stopped. Of all the follicles which started to grow, only one continues to grow with an egg that develops further. The lining of the uterus or womb starts to thicken and get ready in case a fertilised egg, which is the beginning of a new baby, attaches there. Hormones now cause the fully grown egg to burst out of the follicle and leave the ovary. This is called ovulation. The egg travels down the tube towards the uterus. This is the time of the cycle when pregnancy can occur. An egg can live for 24 hours once it's released from the ovary. If a woman has had sex in the last three days and the egg meets one of many sperm produced by a man, the egg may be fertilised. A fertilised egg will then move down the tube and attach to the wall of the uterus where it will continue to grow. If the egg is fertilised, a period will not occur and different hormones help the pregnancy to continue. If the egg is not fertilised, the hormone levels will start to go down and this causes the lining of the uterus to break down and separate from the wall and then the cycle begins again.